All right, so we're going to do some Axie Infinity gameplay, like I mentioned. Um, we did play a couple of games already, you can tell by the energy, but um, I was just doing a little bit of fiddling around with the recording settings, so I think we've got it set up now. Uh, we're going to run a couple of arena games, see how they go. You know, I am pretty high up in the leaderboards at the moment, so um, I, might get, uh, I might get matched up against some people who are pretty tough, but uh, you never know. It's off-season. People might be playing around. So we're running the Dual Blade, Double Nut Beast, Two Nut or Not to Nut. It's my main boy over here. Um, we've got the standard tank with Leaf Bug, Sirius, um, Pumpkin, and Carrot. He's just an energy tank when you're running a Double Nut Dual Blade. You probably want a lot of energy to try and feed this thing. I have him in the back as well, which is kind of different, but it's been working okay because a lot of people run reptiles in the back. It's just when I go up against double aquas that I end up having a tough time. But, you know, I do got my wet dog Nemo over here. He is a really, really good unit. I picked him up, a uh, really rare unit actually. There's not a whole lot of them out there. So when I saw this build, you know, I knew this was kind of what I was looking for. Um, I run him in the back quite often, but I'm running him as a midliner right now because of the beast being where he is and doing well as he is. So, yeah, um, this is probably going to be the first video you guys see of it. So if you're coming from the Axie scene, welcome. Uh, I've been inspired by a lot of the really good content creators to start putting these videos out, and I hope you enjoy them. Um, you, as you might notice, if you look through my channel, I actually am primarily doing podcasting, but I'm planning on adding Axie Infinity to it because my business partner, who I actually own an online company with, I've kind of sold him on cryptocurrency and NFTs. So uh, we're actually making this a big part of the project. So yeah, for everyone who's here, really awesome to have you here. Um, for everyone who knows me from my network, thanks for checking this out. I'm going to try and keep it short and sweet. So yeah, let's jump into it and uh, play some Axie, see how it goes. All right, so we start with a full white double aqua team, kind of exactly what I was saying is my natural enemy here. So um, if you've ever played against double aqua, you know these guys move quick. So they're probably going to be trying to throw a lot of damage into me, um, start charging up the midliner and get some energy in store for the backliner there. He is running... Ah, this is actually a really tough comp for me. So let's start it off with the traditional. Can't go wrong with a pumpkin disguise. See how that is. Yeah. Looks like he's gonna do a very similar thing, probably a carrot or a serious. Yeah, it's a serious. So he's gonna steal an energy and draw. I am going to gain an energy. I wish I had serious so I could have taken it back, but whatever, it is what it is. <laughs> Look at that, I get a serious now. Ooh, serious carrot actually. What are the chances that they melt through my tank this turn? I could play this a little slow and go for the serious carrot. I think I might. I have a feeling they're not going to all in me. I actually feel like he's probably going to run a few cards on his midline. Maybe even if he has a carrot or a serious here, he might try and charge up a little bit more. I don't have enough cards to melt through him on my beast. So yeah, I think this is a pretty safe way to go about it. Look, same thing with the serious. Um, he's not going to break my carrot. He's just trying to build up energy. Crazy how he got those cards in succession like that. I'm actually kind of jealous. I wish I got those cards. We steal the energy back. That's good. He's sitting at about, I believe, six energy if I counted it right at the moment, which, I mean, it's not good. Um, it is two energy more than me, but our beast is officially online. So I think what we're going to do is just give up on this tank. He's not going to be there. He has played two pumpkins, so the chances of him getting a pumpkin again are really, really slim. What I'll probably end up doing is I want to guarantee this. So I'm thinking about throwing the Sinister in, but I think it's overkill. I think instead what I might do is just do a Nemo. Yeah, let's do a Nemo hero just to guarantee it. No, he was going in. Either way, this is not a bad way to go about it because in this way, his tank is not going to be in last night. The energy on this guy, I'm so... He's gonna kick my, oh my goodness, he is really gonna show me who the boss is here. Like, um, wow, he must be at what? Pretty much 10 energy at this point with double aqua. I don't know anyone who wants to be in this position, but you know what? My aqua goes first. Um, I think what I'll do is, cause he might try and plow through this tank. Just gonna throw the one pumpkin up to make sure that he can't full combo kill my tank. 
so that if he tries to just brick wall on both of these under the impression that he's going to make it to my second aqua, um, it could be a really big turning point. Other than that, I mean, even if I just draw it is what it is, look at that. Huge, huge, huge. So he was expecting that he would... Oh, and the crit! Okay, I mean... <laughs> You win some, you lose some. <laughs> what can I say? At least I'm going to be able to throw out some damage and more than likely kill this guy here. Um, the way I'm going to go about it, I should have used a shipwreck, but it's perfectly fine. It is It is what it is. I wish I would have got a Nemo here. A Nemo here would have been really, really big. Um, I am just going to all in here and hope that I can keep him alive. He's more than likely going to throw two cards in the back here. So if that works the way I want it to, I might actually be able to negate a little bit and even throw a little bit of damage into him next turn. Okay, let's run it like this and see what we can do. Ooh, that's a very interesting way to go about it here. I don't think he made the right choice putting cards on the midliner. Kind of a waste, because now all he does is he doesn't even break my shield with the upstream. Bit of a mistake on his end. I've got the double Nemo shipwreck, which is huge. So I'm going to be able to put this out. I'm going to get energy back. So I'm going to throw a Sinister out too, just because. He may or may not kill him. He's more than likely going to kill my midliner. But even still, we're going to be in a position where um, we are quite happy as far as energy goes. We're going to have a full... Yeah, he's definitely going to... Oh, is he? Ah, oh, yeah, he is. So remember, he did have an insane amount of energy. So there's a good chance he's still fully loaded and ready to beat me here. Um, because of that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a Sinister because Sinister is one of those ones where you're just you're able to guarantee certain one hits if I'm in last stand and only have one tick left if I get a lucky crit. Um, the chances of me getting a lucky crit are really, really unlikely. But um, in the games that I was recording before this, um, I actually got a bunch of them. Yeah, the triple here. So we'll see. There is a chance I can survive. Nah, there's no chance I survive here for sure. He played it well. As I said, my natural nemesis here is the double Aqua team because if you've ever played a beast into an Aqua, you know how tough it is. Like you saw, he only used three cards and he was able to take my Aqua out. Um, especially if you've got the uh, the star for the for the horn. It's just, it's really, really hard to try and beat that. But you know what? Let's jump into another one. Not gonna get discouraged from that. Let's see what we can pull out here. Ooh. Looks like a double reptile. Now this is what I like to play against because this is what I'm made for. Um, I rolled a bunch of beast cards off the bat too. This is really what actualizes my comp here. Now he does have bulwark, which is a little concerning, but you know what? I think I'm gonna go for it regardless. Even if he reflects the damage on me, it's not the end of the world. He's not using it, that's fantastic. Oh, I'm so close to killing him. Six health. That is crazy. Good thing that I did that, though, because he was coming for the rice. I actually didn't even notice the double rice here. What a unique combo. I've seen a lot of these bulwarks. I think it's called Indian Star, the actual ability. I've seen quite a few of them. Um, and, I mean, it's a good comp. I don't think that there's anything wrong with it. But, yeah, it's a little... It's a little out there. Um, <laughs> I... I, I feel like there is benefit to it 100%, but the benefit is kind of kind of outweighed by other back cards because back cards are some of the best cards in the game. Uh, there's no denying that. There really is no denying that. Now, I want to make sure he dies, like 100%. He has to die, so I am going to use this just to be sure. No, it looks like he's not going to, which is great. Um, he's probably going to do ooh, double rice. What a huge moment for me. He goes for the double rice. I end up getting the energy from the actual carrot. Um, he does end up taking it, which sucks after all, but this is really good news. Uh, I'm happy to be in this position. I actually think the way that I'm going to do this, even though I have an aqua that's going to be bad against that, I do think that the best route for me to go is just to try and melt him off. I'm going to go before him. So then he's going to be stuck and he may or may not have a rice on the back here. He also has Kataro, so he can't use Kataro yet. Yeah, you know what? I think that's the route we're going to take here. We're just going to make sure that we can plow off this first one here and just go from there. Yeah, he's not even using any cards on him, which is smart. He shouldn't be using any cards because the chances of him surviving are just so minimal. Ah, 
that's a weird one. Going for the double with the Kataro? Can't really say that I agree with that. So this, I mean, there really is no better way for me to have set this up. One of his highest damage cards is a beast card, which is not good against my specific aquatic. So I'm in a position where he's probably going to Kataro me. He might even Bulwark. Um, more than likely going to Rice. So I think the way I'm going to do this, just to make sure that I'm not getting too much damage reflected on me, is probably go for the double Nemo and then put a Shipwreck on. I'll be in a position where I have quite a bit of... Yeah, and I'm going to keep the Crimson. It's exactly how I'm going to do it. Oh, okay. It looks like he's not even using the Indian Star yet. I bet you he, he kind of read that I was going to wait and try and build up some cards. Yeah, the Kataro for sure. The double beast card though, it's just not going to do what he wants. Even if he crit there, he wasn't going to end up beating me. Now this is a little bit unfortunate. Um, I do have the plus in damage, so I'm going to go about this, but I, I'm not overly happy with it. I'm not going to lie. Um, he does have some damage, so I could probably bamboozle him. If I actually go for a uh, shipwreck here and it ends up keeping me alive, but if he uses the bulwark and he reflects a bunch of damage back at me, it's not going to have me in a good position. So I kind of just want to get as much out of here as I can. 40% of this is going to be enough to kill me though. So you know what? We're going this route. Yeah, that's definitely going to be a bulwark. I want to make sure that he doesn't end up the damage reflect. Yeah, I don't want him to kill me. That's the big thing. He can kill me afterwards. That's not a problem. But I don't want him to kill me first. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely going to kill me, which is fine. He is going to Kataro. That's why I was doing so much damage. He did the double. Okay, this is fantastic. I couldn't ask for anything better here. This is a double Ronin with the Sinister. Doesn't matter how much shield he has. I just don't think he's going to be able to beat me here. Goes for the rice. Rice isn't going to kill me unless it crits. Fantastic. It doesn't kill me. I'm definitely going to kill him because I have the beast card bonus against reptile. All right. So pretty straightforward. It might have seemed a little close at the end there, but it was pretty calculated. I was in a position where I knew as long as I played my cards right, no pun intended, that I should be okay. Um, but you never know, right? Because crits can come up. Beast cards are really well known to crit. I'm just going to do another one. Um... Let's see how this one goes. Okay, this is the kind of team that I'm built to fight. Really, really good team for us to be up against. I think the way that I'm going to go about this is just pump a bunch of beast cards into this plant um, because that's the best way to start here. So let's just hit him with the double nut and the sinister chance to kill him. He looks like he's got the rimp combo too, which is kind of funny. He's going to go for the um, killing blow on my plant. I'm going to go for the killing blow on his plant. Now, unless I crit, I'm more than likely not going to get it. Yeah, he's going to be left with 14 health. Not really the biggest deal. Um, I am going to use this just so I can shield up a little bit. Now, he might... Yeah, just in case, I am going to throw this nut because you never know. He might put a pumpkin out. And if he puts a pumpkin out, it could really... No, he's not putting a pumpkin out, but he could have. And that could have made a real big difference on this. Um, now, this way, I'm just going to throw the nut at the beast. Not a big deal. Puts me in a good position to be able to kill him here with the double la or the double hero. Um, I want to save some energy. I don't want to waste all my energy because this guy, this is like the perfect reptile. He's got the disarm, the zero cost with the chomp, and he's got the critical escape for the negative damage. This guy's going to be really hard for me to kill. So I really just want to make sure that I can handle this. He's going all in. Good thing he doesn't have the tri spikes or you know i would have just guaranteed not had any life here i still might die but i think i'll be able to stay alive um if i do do it this way perfect wonderful okay now there's a couple of ways to go about this i think the best way for me to do this is to go for the shipwreck and then just wait until next turn and hope that I can play it out in such a way where I can get like a double Ronin or double Ronin plus two Sinisters. And if I can do that, that put me in a really good position. He's going to go for the, I'm assuming that this is probably a disarm and a, yeah, or a chomp. Okay, actually, can I get the last stand? No, he's going to kill me. Okay. So not exactly what we wanted, but very similar. Now the way to play this out, because some people might just go for the um, 
the full combo here with the Ronin, but the way that the speed works, we're the same speed actually, so I gotta be careful. If I bring him down to less health, he's more than likely gonna be in a position where he can just put the chomp on me. So I think the way we're gonna do this is we're just gonna go for the traditional. It's gonna be hard for me to try and kill him, um, but see, the thing is, is he's gonna have the chomp combo now. So if I go for the double Ronin, I think we try this. It's the only thing that we can do. Yeah, that's a huge shield. He goes for the full combo. Oh, it doesn't look like he actually has the... Oh my goodness. I think we're going to get him. Nice. We got him. He goes for the combo, but it's not enough. Amazing. Okay, so we won one. I'm really happy to have that win here. Looks like we didn't have to just call it quits at that last one. We we're able to win one of the matches here. Um, that's a really good position to be in. I'm happy to be there. So I guess we'll wrap it up with this now. Um, again, this was, you know, really, really good experience for me. I love playing this game. There's a lot of really great content creators out doing Axie Infinity content now. Um, and that's one of the things that inspires at least myself. And I think it could be inspiring for everyone else to get involved in the community really good community um, even if you're not directly playing but just communicating and then coordinating with the community you know this is where the game is now but with some of the work that sky mavis is putting out we're going to make this a much more accessible game for everybody who has an interest in playing to actually get involved in and uh look forward to that because i think that's really going to flesh this game out and then give the developing team what they need to really make the advancements and make this the keystone innovator of all blockchain gaming so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it um until next time i'm gonna try and release these more often so keep tuned if you're watching this on youtube uh, make sure that you hit the like button give me a like um, subscribe to the channel because we've got a lot of really good stuff planned and then uh, hit the notification bell so you can actually be informed when i release new stuff all right guys thanks again until next time